continent, Ethiopia's government has put in place restricted measures on the importation of certain goods such as alcohol vehicles and cosmetic products, among others, as part of efforts to stem forex scarcity in the country. The move, according to the government, is necessitated to prioritize the use of foreign currency to import food, medicine and raw materials for manufacturing. Ethiopia's economy, like many across the continent, has been reeling from the adverse effects of the Ukraine conflict, forcing authorities to initiate uh, measures to reverse the situation. Let's have more details of that in this report. Efrata Habtamu is marketing her hair and skin products manufactured here in Ethiopia at the African Fashion Week at the African Union Commission. Some of the ingredients are imported. And we have three types of skin products. We have cream and butter and lotion. So the raw materials came from uh, Cote d'Ivoire, uh, she and uh, cocoa butter. Businesses like Efrata's will be impacted by a new government directive not to prioritize the importation of some items, including beauty products. Letters of credit will also not be given by banks to importers of whiskies, beer and other alcoholic drinks, artificial hair, perfumes, seafoods and cigarettes, among other items. The ban also covers automobiles, motorcycles and three-wheelers. The government says the prioritization of imports will help steer the available foreign currency to more critical items like medicine and basic commodities, as well as raw materials for manufacturing. It also aims to curb illegal forex trade. Economists say these moves are based on attempts at macroeconomic stabilization and the need to create a foreign reserve buffer. Ethiopia's foreign currency strain stems from domestic challenges, including conflict in parts of the country. But there are also external shocks. The Ukraine crisis has led to an increase in oil prices, an increase in wheat prices, food prices, and this has had a ripple effect on global supply chains, and it's led to countries in Africa, including Ethiopia, to be paying much more for imports, especially for fuel and food. Economist Ali Zafar says there is a need to work towards a lasting solution of expanded reserves. It's a time for countries to develop their, their export diversification strategies, non-traditional exports, because the world economy will pick up. And exports are a very good source of foreign exchange. The second thing countries like Ethiopia and others do is that they mobilize diaspora remittances. Diaspora inflows are very important to help to give what we macroeconomists like to call a counter-cyclical buffer. In the meantime, investors like Efrata might have to adjust to using locally available ingredients. It might affect us a little bit, but it's a win-win because people will start to use our products, Ethiopian products, so it's a great opportunity for Tala, I guess. However, there is speculation already that traders of banned products might take advantage and increase prices of the stock they have as customers' choices become limited.